We are covering Colorado first with your forecast. Meteorologist Dave Aguilera. Clouds out there, Dave. They continue, huh? Yeah, Kathy, if you look at that uh, picture right there, that's our mousetrap camera. We're kind of looking to the northeast. And on the left-hand side, you see kind of where it darkens up a little bit out there. That's the edge of a big line of thunderstorms that's trying to build up in Weld County. And on the radar, man, oh, man, it really uh, shows up well. The uh, little cluster I'm talking about is right here. And let's uh, zoom into that. Let's take it and I'll show you exactly what we're uh, talking about here. Might have a little small hail going through Greeley right now as we speak. Everything in the red has the potential of either heavy rain or some small hail going on. And if we do have any severe warnings going on, it might be for this storm here. Look at that big line, just kind of a bow. We're heading right through Greeley. It's on the way to Kersey. It's moving about 20 uh, miles per hour, so it's moving relatively quickly. But you're going to get a lot of rain out of that up there in Weld County, uh, just north of Platteville. Also on the back side of that, another one coming together around Campion. That's their second wave to come through, and that one might deliver some heavy rain and some small hail in it as well. No warnings yet on these storms, but if they keep growing, we might get something developing uh, as far as a warning goes. And then you can see also, uh, let me zoom into that uh, that guy just north of Boulder, uh, between North. Nor Longmont and Boulder, we're seeing a little storm develop there too. So I think in the next hour or so, if anything severe develops, it's going to be from that line of storms that's moving right into Weld County right now. Meantime, uh, not much cooking around Denver, just some light sprinkles here. Uh, line of thunderstorms from Monument into southern uh, Elbert County there. Uh, not severe, but there's a lot of lightning in that, so just watch out for that. I know a lot of people have got out and are hitting the golf courses and that type of thing. If you're on the golf course and you hear uh, thunder, man, and uh, take cover because you don't want to miss with that. Also out west uh, around Meeker and Rifle, we've got some big thunderstorms there uh, right along I-70 uh, just north of Carbondale moving to the Aspen area as well. The only big hailstorm uh, report I've seen is 22 miles southwest of Meeker. One storm possibly dropped one inch diameter hail out there and that's what you need to, for a storm to be designated severe. One inch diameter hail or 58 mile per hour winds or above or tornado or funnel cloud. We haven't seen that, thank goodness. So into the tonight uh, hours we go with the future cast and the wind vectors. Thunderstorms still possible for the next couple of hours here in the front range. And then after midnight, our chances move out of the state. Tomorrow morning might have a little bit of fog out over uh, the eastern plains of Colorado, but it should burn off rapidly by the noon hour. And then after about 2 o'clock, again, we'll be on the watch out for some thunderstorms from Denver up to Fort Collins out to the northeast. And guess what? Won't be a lot of storms, but one or two of them could could produce the big hail or the strong winds in this green shaded area, and Denver is included in that. Denver, Boulder, and Fort Collins. All right, uh, quick look at our highs, and then we'll get into the forecast. We made it to 65 officially at DIA, 67 in Greeley, and 61 in Boulder and Fort Collins today. Tonight, a mild night on temperatures with that cloud cover, and tomorrow, a little warmer. We'll see more 70s and 80s out to the east and to the west, with 70s and 60s up in the mountains. So we could still see a few showers and thunderstorms for the next couple of hours here from Denver up to Fort Collins and then tomorrow mostly sunny early isolated afternoon storms and mid 70s for the high and then on Monday 67 degrees an isolated thunderstorm possible in the afternoon slight chance of that and then on Cinco de Mayo mostly sunny 68 degrees upper 60s on Wednesday and then a little bit cooler on Thursday with 63 coming your way on that day uh, all those temperatures pretty much in line with where we should be normal high Kathy this time of year is about 66. That works. Oh, All right, yeah. Dave, thank you. You're welcome. Well, with more orders to wear masks, many people are complying.